the devil in New York When there's snow in those nasty states When the smog is so thick it can There's floats in L.A. in the Harlem In the water, see the creek like I said this morning It was a beautiful morning But cloudy and it rained there can find this dock. This, this is a floater that uh, oh, the other one floated away. The neighbor caught it. We gotta go get it and tow it back. And I, I say let's take the big boat. I mean, we can take Raymond's boat and tow it. We can take that boat and tow it. Or you could put a little boat in the water, but. Let's take the big boat. We need to crank this thing up, see how she's running. The sweet chariot, which is going to be rechristened to the Southern Witch. You know, knock on wood, all things work out. I mean, it's only a $70,000 boat. Hell, I paid 30 for a pickup truck. <laughs> This thing's got two bedrooms and uh, two baths and uh, two heads, excuse me. And uh, since I'm going to be the captain, uh, I don't like this step across right here, but you know. Oh, we got to make sure we got ditches. Yeah, our ditches are clean. be scratching up the boat. <laughs> Any more than it's already been scratched up. Got plenty of hand holes. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready to get on this boat and uh, make some money, go fishing, go partying, take people down to the landing so they can look at the free concerts. You know, you can dock up right at the landing. And you know, couples pay to do that. We've got two bedrooms. We could probably take two couples. <laughs> Captain Crew can bunk right here. Only gonna be one man or one woman crew. Captain and first mate. Who that's gonna be? We'll just have to figure that out. When we come to it. We got to put our floating dock right here. Thirty footer. And we got all the stuff to do it, but we got to put it together. That way, uh, the dock goes up and down with the tide. And that dinghy needs to go back on there. A little old dinghy up front there that sits right there. And you got a winch to put it in and out of the water. It's got its own motor. Yeah, it needs to go back on again. Seven thousand dollars. At least it'll do put the dinghy on there. This horn is falling down. Our radio antenna, shore radio antenna. Yeah, I'm tired of all the grunt work I'm doing around here. I got we got to pull them damn old pilings out of the water, or go down and cut them. I guess I could dive down and cut them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to pull this boat out of the water too because it's got to be checked. The hull's got to be checked before we close the deal on it. And, uh, well, you know, and I want to close the deal on it. I got to live on this boat. Which, it won't be no problem. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy living on this boat. Staying off the highway. But all these systems haven't been run, so, you know, we got to fire everything up, make sure everything's ship-shaped. Seaworthy. And make sure we don't have no leaks nowhere. i got to turn on my dam. Hang on. Turn on my... My uh, light, which is on, you can see, got a big bed here, conform to the, oh, that squeaking noise is the, 
got a HD in my TV in the bedroom. This is the captain's room, I guess, but you would give this to your guests, probably. It's got a big head. Not big head, but not mean big enough. Shower. They're not used yet, because none of these systems are in use right now. And it smells a little bit musty in here because the air conditioning and all that hasn't been running. It hasn't been opened up. See, but what I'll do is I'll open this up. Sea air going through here, or fresh air going through here. Whew. 13, 12, 23, 5, 6, Wednesday. Okay, I guess that's right. <laughs> 112. <sighs> okay. That clock ain't right. I wonder if this. Oh. Barometer. Can hold her cowboys down. And I'll show the girls on the west side. I don't know if that's right or not. Let's see what we got. Bar, Grand Mariner. <laughs> Grand Mariner. Oh, rain poured the steel Stevie, we'll have to have some rum, yeah, coconut rum, and the, and the TV that was right here is, ain't no problem though, we can put another TV in there, this little bitty refrigerator, no sound system, you can, and then they got another guest box house back here, I guess. Yeah, we could take two couples, you know. As long as we're willing to play trucking. Out fishing, cruising, or just, you know, relaxing on the water. Women like this, you got a little stool here, you can sit and look at yourself in the mirror. We're ready to go on this boat. Don't like I give it for money. <laughs> yep. Don't give it for money. But I got a lot to learn. I, you know, I've got to uh, go off navigation stuff. It ain't gonna turn me loose until I know how to operate all this stuff. Navigate these channels. And Wait a river pilot. Whew. That's the thing, anybody that can own a boat can call themselves captains, but uh, that don't mean they're a navigator. There's a wasp right there. I bet he's got a nest in here somewhere. I need to find out where his nest is. Just because you captain don't mean you can navigate. Better get a first mate that knows how to navigate. <laughs> no, the captain needs to know all that stuff. Seriously. Because if you don't, and you need to know how to do it old school. Because if your electronics go down, and the engine goes down, what are you going to do? Put up a sail. <laughs> You will find me way down in day Put a rotor in the water, how'd they do it? And over on the top of bay When the girls remain the sunshine All over the sunshine You could run a real tall mast or sail You could run maybe a square sail or something Oh yeah, in the shore Oh, 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 oh,
wind as tall as this thing is with this can of go back the wind will blow you somewhere on the golf coast in the country anyway i'm ready uh, the job of first mate is wide open, you know. I got to find my own. I'm going to operate this boat by myself. So I guess I'll start taking applications. You know. Give me your resumes to uh, Steve. Stephen Wayne uh, at sunshinedixieland.com. Well, it's lunch hour. Man. Some girls get back with lunch. I'm going to eat. Anyway, this is Steve Wayne, SunshineDixieLand.com on the Cedar Creek. Hope everybody's having a good day wherever you're at. Two little bucks See y'all later. From Miami Beach on down to Boca Raton. Brown Key Largo, the smile in the golden sun. Those Florida girls play in the sand. Those Florida girls can please a man. Like corn blossom, honey, they sunshine sweet. Those Florida girls are the girls for me. Colladas down on Daytona Beach With a Florida girl is the life for me When the golden sun goes down on the Florida Keys I'll be with a Florida girl who's sunshine free Those Florida girls are number one so small and a girl, a summer sun. So small and a girl, the number one.